Well, welcome. I'm so excited to be here with Erin Eller. So my name is Susie Siegel, and I have the privilege of serving as the provost for Walsh College. And Erin Eller is one of our outstanding alum, recent alum. And I wanted to get together with Erin and just talk a little bit about his journey, his professional career, where Walsh fit into that. And also, Erin, you did something really amazing. You got a double master's and you did it in, in a shorter amount of time than most people would for one degree. And we'll talk more about that. So Aaron, thank you so much for joining today. Yeah, thanks for having me, Susie. I, I appreciate it. Yeah, anything yeah. to to help out the college. Um, you know, at Walsh is the the whole reason I'm here. The whole reason I have this this office, and uh, you know why I can say my my office is three degrees cooler now because I have, <laughs> I have three degrees from uh, Walsh College, right? So I love it. Um, in this coming from somebody who was never going to graduate. I never planned on, on going to school. And here now I've gone back to school twice now and uh, you know, fulfilled uh, you know, a lifelong promise to, to my grandma. And you know, just was really, really proud to be able to, to do that and, and work through the program. And again, the way that Walsh has it set up was uh, another reason why I was able to do that. Um, so you know, my story, is similar to I'm sure many others. I was working full time. Like I said, I wasn't planning on on going to school. Um, I was working in in a machine shop, working you know great 60, 70 hours, which is good overtime. And uh, you know that was it. And I was set with that. Um, then 2008 and 2009, the economy kind of took a downturn, and I was thinking, what can I do to really secure myself? and the, the future of my family. At that time, I had my first daughter was born. So uh, then it really, really hit me. Um, yeah. I need something a little bit more. So, you know, I started, I just went to the community college, got all my essentials that were easily set up to transfer to, to Walsh. Um, and that decision to go to Walsh was pretty easy for me. The, the regional and local reputation of the school is outstanding. Um, and it's gaining more and more credibility, you know, day after day within the past decade, you know, I've seen it. Uh, I've been since I, I said it was like 2008, 2009. So um, it's been it's been a long journey for me, but I've seen the 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 college grow uh, and the growth. I've, I've, it's been really well, outstanding. And Aaron, I want to talk about the three. I love the three degrees cooler. That's awesome. So you actually have three degrees from Walsh. So Tell us about the first degree you got, and then let's talk a little bit about the double masters. We call them dual degrees, but really they're, they're double masters. And the benefit of that is, you know, a lot of MBAs, and, and it's great, have a specialization or they'll have concentrations. And one of the ways we offer that to students is not just through a concentration, but through a double degree. You can actually get two degrees. So tell me a little bit about your undergrad journey and then why you chose to do the MBA and the Master of Science in Marketing. Yeah, so um, it, it was... I went to back to school and I was running the machine during the day, taking the, the classes at night. And that was really, I, I decided to get the undergrad to get out of that setting and get into from the, the blue collar to more white collar office transition, right? Um, so like I said, I was running the machine during the day. Other guys are sitting there reading the trade magazines. I was sitting there doing my, my homework at the machine oh. while, while I was running parts. Um, and that all, that all finally paid off. I, I worked my way in with a global tooling manufacturer and uh, got a product technician position. Um, and one thing that really motivated me uh, was I took full advantage of employers tuition reimbursement program. So I highly recommend if you don't even know about your reimbursement program where you're, where you're at or if they even have one, just ask your HR rep because uh, a lot of companies out there have it and are willing to pay for you to go back to school. Um, I got the undergrad and both of the master's degrees uh, paid for by uh, where I was, I was working. So um, tuition reimbursement, I promote that 100% and, and look, seek it out. Absolutely. And it's coming back. I mean, we've heard some from some employers say, not only is it back, but they're actually incentivizing it more as a hiring tool and a hiring incentive and a retention incentive as people are having more difficulty finding and retaining top talent. So definitely, Aaron, that's great advice. If you're not sure, or just to re-engage your HR department and say, hey, is there any benefit? So you don't leave money on the table. Because think about like, I love your story from the standpoint of you thought, well, I'm not sure I'm either gonna get a degree and then you went to community college and now you have a double master's. I mean, that's what's yeah. incredible. And, but you know, what I love about it is 
what you are doing, like working in the, like working online, like that's amazing work. We need folks to do that. And we need leaders who like you did can grow up through the organization and be able to help and build even more. So I just want to share that that's a very common journey for so many Walsh students is they see where they want to go and where they want to lead. And, that, and it's all doable. It's not out of reach. It's, I mean, you're an incredible individual and I'm so grateful to talk with you, but it's not like this is out of reach. People can relate. Absolutely, 100%. And and that was that was it. I, I had the undergrad. I had moved on from from the shop, and it was what's what's next. You know, look at what I was able to achieve, and you know, you can see out there what you want to get. You just got to go get it. So that was it. What's next? And I and I wanted to be president. You know, I wanted to be president of the company I was I was working at, um, and what I needed to do. Uh, you know, I felt for myself was go back to school and, and get my master's degree. Uh, and I was originally going for business, uh, you know, administration, but it comes to a point where the the package that Walsh has designed with the dual program, it's like, why not? You're already there, why not do it? It's it's a few more classes, but you get two full degrees. I got yeah. two master degrees, you know? Yeah, so you earned those, it, yeah. It was- No, it was, and, and you know, marketing really, I mean, they, I was reading something the other day in, in Entrepreneur Magazine, I think it was, or maybe it was Forbes, and they said that uh, marketing, sales, business development is really the new marketing. Yeah. And so anybody who's in business or leading a business to understand marketing from a business development standpoint, but now, Aaron, let's talk a little bit about, about your role right now. Tell us a little bit about your role with the company and how, how you got it and really what you've learned in it. Because I think it's such a great story of like your journey and also what you're doing and, and how you know laser clear you were on your goals. Um, absolutely. Yeah, well, uh, I, I completed the Bachelor of Business Administration in 2013. I was hired on with the global manufacturer in uh, 2014. So, um September to March, you know, that was my transition time. So it was really quick. You know, I was able to find a find a, a next level position. Um, so I was there and I was I was going to school and then uh, Susie COVID hit and I was actually became a, a casualty of COVID um, and was let go from my product manager position. So there was a little discouraging, but I always had uh, faith in, you know, my background in business and in my marketing, and I had just two more classes to go. So I knew that future employers were going to see that. Um, so I was out of a position for about three months and then was hired as president of Ultra Carbide. And we are a leading provider of tungsten carbide material for all of North America. So um, material for end mills and drills that go into metal cutting and all of the manufacturing industry. So um, essentially, I achieved my goal uh, and I did it sooner than I wanted to, just not for this, the same company. Um, well, Aaron, so this story is incredible because it's so nonlinear. Okay, so so many things I love about this. Wow, we could I, I, I mean, we'll keep this to a manageable length, but we could we could do a series on this. So so you know, this is such a good lesson because many times in life we we go through our own life once, so we don't have a reference point to learn from others is the best way to scale quickly. And so during COVID, you said like I was a COVID casualty, my position went away. And not only did you use that and you said, okay, but I know, I know I'm going to keep going in my degree. Cause that's what we saw. We saw a lot yeah. of students double up, triple up on classes and finish faster because they saw the vision and you knew that an employer would find that marketable. And now you're the president, which was your original right. goal. But if somebody were to tell you it would have happened this way, you would have said, well, no way. How could I become, you know, so that's such a good lesson that to have faith, and also to stay focused on the end goal and that things don't have to be linear. Sometimes things go up and down, they ebb and they flow. And I love how you spoke into that, but what you did the whole time was you stayed committed to your vision of finishing your degree. And you know that's really important because it can be very easy for us to talk ourselves out of completion. We get scared, we say, well, I need to pull back. And so if you're, if you're listening to this and you're thinking, I know, but I just don't know if now's the right time to, to go in with my education. I think what we're hearing is it is the right time, especially oh now. The, the sooner you get it done, the sooner it pays off. Um, yeah. So in, in, in even before sometimes, I, I transitioned to the, into this position and I still had two more courses to, to take. And uh, it, again, tuition reimbursement. So even through uh, the, the transition from the shop to the office and then COVID uh, casualties, 
you know, you just got to, <laughs> it sounds yeah. silly, but you got to just dory up and you just got to keep on swimming and, and that's it. Um, and, and just know and have faith in, in the system and, and you, Walsh College, their, their background, they've been doing it and, and they know what they're doing. They're giving you the right education. So, uh, yeah, and, and they've, got the, the, they've got the right people, um, people they're, they're teaching, you know. So it's, it's, tell me a little bit what you learned, like when you were in your MBA that you, you can take away and apply right away on your job now as the president. Like what, what would you say if you had to say two or three valuable pieces, principles and business that you say, okay, wow, I was able to grab these and apply them right away. <clears throat> um, it, well, Susie, it might not just be the business and the management principles or the marketing, uh, but communication was also key in, in all of that. Um, the information that you're delivering, how you're delivering at different platforms and, and your audience and knowing your audience. So for me, that was a really interesting um, aspect of it. Um, but at Walsh, you know, you're learning the, the most relevant real world situations and, and techniques to help establish innovative new ways of working. Um, you know, you're, you're, you are receiving those next day transferable skills that can smoothly go from, you know, the classroom into an office setting. So, yeah, um, it's, yeah we hear that a lot. Students are like, wow, I just talked about this in my class and now we're doing it at work. And that's what's really nice about it is we have faculty that have real world experience as well as the academic credentials. So you get this best of, of both worlds in, in yeah. that as well. And but I give you so much credit. I mean, you know, your 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 mindset, your approach, the perseverance you had during what was a very challenging year. But here's what's so cool is you can say, and we're still in it kind of. I mean, we're not fully out. So it's not like, you know, if you're still listening and you're thinking, wow, I could jump in. Absolutely. You know, our classes are 11 weeks and you can take one at a time, two at a time, but you move through pretty quickly. And, and you can probably relate that 11 weeks goes by pretty quickly. It's not like you're in this longer semester at a more traditional place. You can get a lot of coursework, a lot of coursework done. So, Aaron, when you think about, you know, life lessons you learned along the way, and just speak from your own experience, you know, like, it, it, you know, your role now, but what do you think is really important for business leaders and, and folks that are looking to just advance and scale up their career? Because we do have a lot of folks now that are saying, look, you know, I mean, after COVID or in COVID, I'm really reevaluating my life, my career, my job options. You know, what advice might you just have if, if somebody was asking you, you know, what are the keys to success as, as you see them and as you have experienced them? Yeah, um, just start. If, if you're thinking about it, you're already motivated enough. And if you're, you're going to seek it out, you might as well just see it through. Um, so just just start. And, and once you get going, you'll get into a routine and just don't break that routine until it's it's complete. Um, and I will say that the feeling um, that you get when you when you receive your diplomas, uh, it's amazing. So um, find something that you're, you're passionate about that you enjoy doing, Susie. That's something that's key. Um, and you hear that it's an age old saying, you know, um, do something you love and you'll never work a day in your life. Right. I love uh, marketing. I, I wasn't sure. And it, it wasn't till a couple key professors really pointed me in the right direction. Um, I was going to school, right? So I was still doing the right thing. And I, it was great. And everybody, I, I, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I was going for business administration. And I would say that it's, it's a great general degree. It's really broad. I can do whatever. Well, you know, somebody would ask, okay, what do you want to do with it? Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't sure. Um, and it wasn't until I had professors really asking me what I liked and, and what I wanted to do that really helped point me in the direction of market research and product marketing. Um, you know, when you have professors that uh, take the time, they're, they're not just, uh, you know, career professors that are teaching and lecturing from dusty old textbooks, you know, these guys are out in the real world. They're, they're taking their experience from their Fortune 500 companies, their, their big three supplying companies that they work for, and they're bringing it to you. So you're getting that textbook education, you know, that high quality reading material, but you're also getting real world situations taught by people who actually care and are there because they are passionate for what they are experts in. Um, you know, guys like uh, Rick Radner's and, and Tony Racka, 
um, James and Cam and, and Nicholas McCracken, they really helped me in my undergrad to focus into that, that marketing aspect that I, that I really liked. Uh -huh. um, you know, and then, and then even into my, my graduate degree, I'm not the best in, in accounting or anything like that. That was never my strong suit. That's why I focused on marketing in business. So um, when, when teachers like uh, Melissa Force really take time to explain things uh, that you may not understand, um, that is really amazing, you know. That's and, so great. Oh, it's so great Laura to hear. Frost yeah. and, and Barb and Philip, uh, they, they all, all three of those, the great, great, great instructors that bring um, not just the textbook, but passion in their real world experience to help you, you know, set up to succeed. So, you yeah. know, and I want to take a moment about the faculty because that was, it's one thing that's really impressed me about Walsh is the quality and caliber of the faculty and their investment in the student experience. You know, I went to a large R1 school in Ann Arbor. You can probably figure that one out. And, you know, we didn't have faculty in the classroom. They might teach a lecture and it was like a thousand people in a room. And then you had a, a graduate student instructor who was great, but you didn't have that faculty connection. You couldn't really email the faculty. They wouldn't, I mean, we didn't really have email in those days. I'm dating myself, but when you think about the level of attention I see our faculty give students who have questions, the office hours virtually, especially as we have pivoted in a more remote environment, that's been one thing I've continually thanked them for is their time and investment with their students and our retention. You know, we've seen it with our retention. It's been extraordinarily high, even when other colleges and universities haven't been. And that speaks to the quality of the faculty interactions and the care and concern they have and their commitment to the student's success. So you will have a, a faculty person, you'll have many faculty that are in your corner that are really committed to your success. You're not just a number at Walsh, you know, faculty, they know who you are, we know who you are. You know, I think how we connected is I saw on LinkedIn, you posted this incredible picture of both of your master's degrees and you're like, what an incredible feeling and I reached out and I said, I'd love to talk with you because you did a great, like you are one of many students has done this, but I wanted to speak with you specifically because I saw your career path and I thought, wow, this is really, you know, noteworthy. This is admirable. And, and I wanted to get your, you know, your story out there and really have an opportunity to hear, you know, hear from you. Yeah, so Aaron, you. as we wrap up, what's next for you? Like this just, just, I'm curious, you know, like where is your, what goals do you have? What's next? What are you thinking about? If you can share, we, I'd love to hear. Um, well, it, now that I have some some free time, um, <laughs> I've actually I've actually been starting to think more about starting up my own um, side business. So get a little side hustle going, um, start working a little for for myself now too. Um, but other than that, I'm not sure. I might just take it easy for a little bit. I just finished up in September, so um, <laughs> I, uh, on top of work and school, I also have a family, a wife, and four kids. Um, we have a, a licensed uh, foster family, so we have a foster child with us. So um, I guess I do deliver uh, for Meals on Wheels. So that's something I do kind of for, for myself um, in, my, in my free time. So that's uh, wonderful. But I might oh, I just playing. love that. I, I mean, I, I, you know, that's such a heart and generosity and giving back in, in addition to your, your busy family life and work life. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, Meals on Wheels, it's something that's super easy and it's win-win for me. Um, it makes me feel good because selfishly I'm out there doing something and it makes me feel good, but it's also good for the community as well. Yeah, um, and absolutely. Susie, I've made friends actually uh, out there. I've got a tomorrow, um, my friend Judy is going to be 98 years old. So it's oh. amazing some of these uh, individuals that you meet and just the stories that they have that you can, you know, just learn from. Um, so oh, it's, a, it's yeah. tuition reimbursement, meals on wheels. Tuition Walk reimbursement, meals on wheels. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Aaron. This has been great. I mean, I, you know, I really appreciate it. It's kind of a casual conversation, but that's what we have during these times in, in the digital world. But thank you for taking the time out of your day to connect with me and to connect with all of us who are listening to really share. And um, congratulations. Congratulations on all three of your degrees, specifically your most recent two, your, your double masters. And congratulations on your role as president of the company. That is phenomenal. What a great yeah. story and great inspiration. And Thank and you if so any much. students are, are, you know, have questions or want to connect with me or Aaron, you know, definitely, you know, we'll, we'll be able to connect and talk some more, but I really appreciate your time. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you guys. Okay. Bye everyone.